I'm on board with Mario. Mario, thank you for uh, having us and uh, taking a few minutes to show us what you've got going oh, here. You, you are wearing something pretty interesting. Uh, I saw you walk on board with it. I thought, now that's different. Yeah. Um, tell us, tell us what this is all about. We, first of all, we are on board the. Um, what, what would you call this? Pro this it's is Project Perfect Storm. Perfect Storm. That's right. So it's an eleven and a half meter rib platform that's uh, that's basically multi mission purposed. Yep. Um, and we're showing a lot of different technologies today. This really is to allow passengers who are going to run on board this boat to enjoy a level of load mitigation, ride mitigation, without actually sitting in a seat. Correct. Uh, so when you got to throw extra bodies on board, more than you have seating for, you can still protect them to a certain degree with this kind of technology. Absolutely. Tell us all about it. So it's just, uh, I work for Rome Robotics. This is a, a wearable ro robotic system that essentially acts as a shock absorber. Um, you can wear it anywhere on, on, on board the vessel, but it's a pneumatically powered uh, exoskeleton. Um, it, uh, it, it essentially reduces uh, the shocks that you feel while you're underway. Right. Um, it greatly reduces fatigue. You could, you could essentially sit in the you know, proper posture at any angle, whatever is comfortable for you, to naturally absorb right. uh, any, any shocks or impacts that you get from, uh, from, from the waves. Um, you can do that indefinitely. Um, you know, we do have a, a pack that you can wear, but ideally, when you're, when you're uh, attached to a vessel, you, you would essentially plug just in plug in right. wherever your station happens to be, and you'd have unlimited air and, and power uh, while you're out there. I love so, that. No, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's quite amazing. It's uh, extremely powerful. Yeah. Um, you, you have all of your mobility. You're very dynamic. Um, it, you know, it's, it's obviously helps you with the vertical impacts you deal with, but yep. something that's even better about it is, uh, it, it helps you with all of the, the, uh, horizontal right. or lateral movements that you're going to deal with out here. So, yep. you know, I can, I can make my stance as wide as I need to, I can stagger it, whatever the conditions, you know, you know, require. You work naturally, but you've got the, the, the facilitation of some, 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 some long-term support essentially. Absolutely. Right. And, and it, you know, I, I'm, I can do that without fatiguing my legs because the system right. essentially augments my quads, takes the, the strain and pain off of my knees. Yep. Um, and I can sit there indefinitely for hours and hours and hours without getting fatigued uh, because of this system. I, I think that's brilliant. Now I want to, I want to put a little color and perspective in this because I, I have a I have a little bit of background. I mentioned I was involved years ago in the Mark V program and okay. was working with STID seating, trying to come up with some shock mitigation yep. uh, for for the U.S. Navy. Uh, you are retired Master Chief with the U.S. Navy. Yes. You were with the SEAL team. I was. I was EOD, which is disarming bombs, yep. and then I uh, went to a, a SEAL team for 18 years and was an operator there. Wow. Yeah, that's 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 incredible. I'm, the stories you could tell, I know. Um, but the point is, when I keep talking to people that were out on these boats, going on these missions, the injury is coming back, and they're they're not necessarily battle injuries; they're 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 deployment issues. They're 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 getting there or coming back from there, and just the amount of of, of shock uh, that's hitting the body when you're at sea for hour after yep. hour after hour. Um, we we have to fix that problem if we're yep. going to keep our young men healthy and active and able to be capable. Yep. So this is part of what this is all about, and that's part of your experience because you've been on missions and come back not feeling your best. No, 100%. I mean, I, I retired 430% disabled, 10 herniated discs in my spine. All of my load-bearing labrums are, are torn, and those joints are all arthritic. Um, and I was only ever a passenger on a boat, so I wasn't a, a driver on the, on the boats who go out 10 times more than I did. I was right. only ever a passenger and still had significant damage. Um, and that's, you know... That obviously limits the amount of time you can stay in and, and, and serve. Uh, we're, we're, we are, you know, I was, I was at, at uh, one, of the, one of the boat units, and uh, we're getting ready to do some, some testing, and the, the command doc is walking out with us, and he's like, I can't tell you how bad we need this. He's like, we're getting ready to medically discharge a 25-year-old who can no longer tie his shoes or drive a car. Wow. And he's 25. 25. That's when you're in your prime. I know. You know, but, but when it comes to missions— you know, a lot of my my cognition is spent trying to survive out here and deal with all of the impacts the that we're going. So you're out there for hours and hours on end. Right. You know, and I, I used to disarm bombs. So getting to the target is 
that's your job really hasn't even started, started yet. It doesn't start till I hook and climb and get up on that ship. And then we've got to clear the ship, which can take hours and obviously, you know, burn through. Right. You, and then and then you find a, a, a WMD or a nuke or something like that or a hostage that's tr- strapped up with a device. I need as much cognition as I can possibly have. And I'm I'm smoked largely from the, the dealing deployment. with dealing with just getting to the target. Wow. So any any situation that, you know, or, or uh, you know, thing that you can use this especially well, it's largely help. Absolutely, right. largely help. Uh, you know, preserve the, right. your cognitive. And it's not density. taking away any mobility. I assume you can you can do what you I, need to I, do I can with do, the strapped on. I can do everything. I mean, the, the original product was designed for downhill ski, so you know, oh, super, yeah, yeah. super dynamic. Obviously, you know, relieving the the pain from your knees and augmenting your quad strength. You, you have guys that that have basically given up skiing because they're because of knee pain. Yep. Um, that now could go out and, and, you know, ski all day long or, wow. you know, normally work, you know, couldn't go as many runs as they would like to go. But since it's augmenting the quads, they can go indefinitely. So this, this very dynamic. I love it. I love yep. it. Well, Mario, I really appreciate you taking a few minutes with us and explaining exactly what this is all about. It ties into this whole program beautifully. Yep. And uh, I think the people that are watching what we're putting together here will get it. Yep. And that's what we want. We want them to understand it. Maybe there'll be some takeaways. People will be hearing this, listening to this, and, and maybe pushing for, to their Congress people, to their people that they have influence with to say, hey, get this stuff funded. Figure out how to fix this because yep. we need these 25-year-old boys to be pr- you know, protected and productive. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Mario, thank you again for joining us. And thank you for your service. Thank you for your time, sir. Uh, my pleasure. Be thank- well. Thank you. And until the next time, I'm out of here.